Can an age gap, Becky with the good hair, and an insane elevator fight stop music's most powerful couple? Jay-Z and Beyonce seem to be working through it with grace. There's no question that Beyonce is a workaholic. The show-stopping artist has been grinding in the music industry since she was just a teen with Destiny's Child, and she's continued to be one of the most critically acclaimed artists of her generation. But she may have sacrificed areas of her personal life in order to achieve her immense success. At least, that's the picture Jay-Z painted in his track, Lost One. The song was a part of his Kingdom Come album, which dropped in 2006, and it shined a light on the rapper's relationship with the Love on Top singer. The artist raps in the track I don't think it's meant to be, B, but she loves her work more than she does me. And honestly, at 23, I would probably love my work more than I did she. While the lines could have been interpreted as shade at his partner, given her demanding work ethic, Jay-Z later cleared the air about the meaning behind the song. The artist wrote in his book, Decoded, in a lot of ways, this is the flip side of the songs in my catalog like Big Pimpin', where women exist almost completely as predators or objects. This is about how difficult it is to respect a lover as an autonomous human being, with separate needs and goals and timelines than yours. It's one of the hardest things about a real relationship of equals, but it's worth it. I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. They say love is love, but age gaps between couples are hard to ignore. Beyonce and Jay-Z are no different, with the rapper being 12 years older than his wife. Age is but a number in their case, however, as it didn't stop their love story from blossoming. Jay-Z had his eye on the single ladies' singer when she was just 18 years old, after the two first crossed paths at an MTV Spring Break event. The rapper later released a track about their first meeting titled Everything Is Love. In the song, he raps, We played it cool at the pool of the Cancun VMA. Confidence you exude make the fools stay away. Me, I played my room, let the fools have they say. Fate had me sitting next to you on the plane, and I knew straight away. Despite Jay-Z falling hard for Beyonce, the singer admitted to Seventeen that she didn't want to rush into anything with the rapper. She revealed, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we first started dating. I really don't believe that you will love the same thing when you're 20 as you do at 30. So that was my rule. Before the age of 25, I would never get married. Beyonce stayed true to her word, with the singer tying the knot with Jay-Z when she was 26 years old. Being the giant stars that they are, one has to wonder if Jay-Z and Beyonce ever get competitive about the success of their respective careers. Reports suggested the two had hit a rough patch in their marriage in 2014 in the midst of their joint On The Run tour. The pair toured across the nation together that summer, finishing out the production with two shows in Paris. While they had sold out shows and epic performances to boast about during their joint tour, rumors suggested that their life behind the scenes had taken a turn for the worse. A source told The Post at the time that it would take a miracle for their marriage to survive. The source claimed, They are trying to figure out a way to split without divorcing. This is a huge concert tour, and they've already gotten most of the money from the promoters up front. The insider also mentioned that the pair were spotted without their wedding rings, alluding to even more trouble in their marriage. The source revealed, For just a split moment, things got real for them, and she was even talking about adding to the family. But after a while, J was out doing J, and B was out doing B. They made the class classic mistake of thinking a child would change everything and help to rekindle the initial fire, and it didn't. Despite the allegations, Jay-Z and Beyonce weathered the rumors and went back on tour together in 2018. So what are you gonna say at my funeral now that you've killed me? While everyone can appreciate a good breakup album, no one was expecting Beyonce to drop Lemonade. Sure, the couple has dealt with their fair share of rumors of wandering eyes and trouble in paradise, but fans weren't ready for the explosive track list that Queen B had prepared when the visual album dropped in 2016. People blew up the internet following its release, with songs about a crumbling relationship and an affair making fans believe the singer's marriage to Jay-Z was beyond repair. In Beyonce's track, Sorry, she throws shade with the lyrics, he only want me when I'm not there, he better call Becky with the good hair. Not to mention the video for the song Hold Up features the artist wielding a baseball bat and smashing car windows. Clearly, B was alluding to someone wronging her, and the beehive was quick to call out Jay-Z. In perhaps the greatest PR move ever, she released the epic breakup album exclusively on Tidal, her husband's streaming service. Fans quickly took to X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, to address this controversy 
crazy, with one user tweeting, Unless I'm misunderstanding, these lyrics gonna have folks looking at Jay-Z like, Jay-Z and Beyonce remained hush-hush about their relationship status at the time, however, and neither confirmed nor denied the allegations of infidelity. The If I Were a Boy singer quelled divorce rumors months after the album dropped by giving her husband an onstage shout-out, and the two announced they were expecting twins the following year. The world eventually did find out that there was some truth to Becky with the good hair. Jay-Z first alluded to his infidelity in his track 444, which he released June 2017. In the track, he raps, "...and if my children knew, I don't even know what I would do. If they ain't look at me the same, I would probably die with all the shame. You did what with who? What good is a menage a trois when you have a soulmate? You risked that for blue?" The Run This Town artist got more specific in an interview with the New York Times, owning up to his infidelity fidelity for the first time explicitly. You have to survive. So you're mm -hmm. going to survival mode. And when you go into survival mode, what happened? Mm -hmm. You shut down. Right. You shut down all emotions." He continued the interview. So even with women, you gonna shut down emotionally so you can't connect. In my case, like, it's deep. And then all the things happen from there. Infidelity. In the interview, Jay-Z admitted that he and Beyonce used their music to heal the wounds of their marriage following his affair. Despite the two sticking together and weathering the storm, the tabloids have continued to beg the question, who's the real Becky? While the rapper has never fessed up to the mystery woman's identity, there have been plenty of theories. Rita Ora, Rachel Roy, and Gwyneth Paltrow have all been contenders, but they've all denied meddling in the rapper's marriage. It was an uphill battle for Jay-Z and Beyoncé following the news of the rapper's infidelity. Despite his flaws, the artist is the first to admit he put in the work to save his marriage. In an interview on David Letterman's Netflix series, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, Jay-Z opened up about rebuilding the foundation he and his wife built decades ago. I have a beautiful uh, a wife who was understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done." Out of love for each other, Jay-Z says he and Beyoncé put in the hard work of therapy. The rapper added that he's come to terms with his past and is focused on his family. "...I'm proud of the father and the husband that I am today because of all the work that yeah. was done." Jay-Z went into further detail about the therapy he and his wife did to better their relationship in his interview with the New York Times. "...I think the most important thing I got is that everything is connected. Mm -hmm. Every emotion is connected and it comes from, a, from somewhere." He continued to talk about the connection, saying, "...just being aware of it. Being aware of it in everyday life puts you at such a... you're at such an advantage." Pop culture often likes to ship artists after they work together on a project. Could they be dating? Are they the newest IT couple? The same goes for Jay-Z, who was a huge part of Rihanna's skyrocket to fame when he was featured on her 2007 hit, Umbrella. After their hit collaboration, fans began to wonder if there was something going on between the two, which reportedly didn't exactly sit right with Queen B. Reports suggested that Beyoncé had a watchful eye on Rihanna, as the Barbadian native also collaborated with Jay-Z on tracks like Talk That Talk and Run This Town. A source told Hollywood Life in 2016 that Beyoncé was always a little suspicious of Rihanna. They said, "...there have been so many rumors over the years about her and Jay, it's hard to know what to believe." At this point, Beyoncé keeps a very close eye on Jay and Rihanna, but he's not banned from working with her. Not yet, at least. But despite the rumors, the trio seem to be on good terms with each other. Rihanna has continually supported the pair over the years, and fans may not know that it was B who pushed for Rihanna's label to invest in her. In music producer L.A. Reid's memoir, Sing To Me, My Story of Making Music, Finding Magic, and Searching for Who's Next, Reid admitted, "...Beyonce came up to me. That Rihanna girl, she said, she's a beast." But it might not be just Rihanna that Beyonce was reportedly worried about. The singer reportedly has a jealous streak, according to a source close to the artist. Actor Tiffany Haddish, who was a friend of B's, told TV One's Uncensored she was at an after-party hosted by Jay-Z in 20 2018, when a mystery woman got a little too close for comfort. I was talking to Jay Z, right? I was talking to Jay Z for a little bit, and there was another actress that was there who was also talking to Jay Z. The actress supposedly touched Jay Z's chest during their banter. This apparently didn't sit well with Beyonce, so she entered the conversation as any suspicious partner would. But her demeanor, her body, the way she walked up on her was like, hand off my man's chest. 
It was the elevator fight seen around the world. Following the 2014 Met Gala, TMZ obtained video footage of Beyonce, her sister Solange, and Jay-Z getting into an elevator together. A huge fight ensued shortly after, with Solange lunging at the rapper and hitting him multiple times before being physically restrained by security. The Halo singer didn't appear to make much of an effort to intervene. While the couple never admitted to why the altercation occurred, a source told People magazine that Solange was provoked by fashion designer Rachel Roy earlier in the night. Roy has been rumored to be the other woman in Jay-Z's cheating scandal, but she has denied the accusations. The insider revealed, toward the end of the night, Jay said something inappropriate to Beyonce and Solange, and she snapped. Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Solange released a joint statement to the Associated Press following the altercation, but they didn't shed light on why the fight occurred. The statement read, The most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that is played out in the public. In 2017, Jay-Z alluded to the elevator controversy when he released his track, Kill Jay-Z. In the song, he raps, You egged Solange on, knowing all along, all you had to say, you was wrong.